In this video, you'll learn the difference between an audio interface and an audio mixer. We'll go through a few example situations to better understand when it's appropriate to use each. But if you're new to this channel, my name is Kyle. If you want to learn audio production online, subscribe to Audio University. An audio interface allows you to record audio into your computer and play back audio out of your computer. The Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 interface, for example, has two microphone inputs and two line outputs. That would allow you to record two microphones and listen through two powered speakers. Audio interfaces are usually used with software called Digital Audio Workstations, or DAWs. This software allows you to mix and edit using digital signal processing. In order to process audio in a DAW, the signal has to be converted from analog to digital, processed inside of the computer, and then converted from digital back to analog to be played through speakers. This process adds a little delay in time called latency. If you're using a DAW for signal processing in a live environment, it might add too much latency. If you're watching this video, you've probably seen an audio mixer before. They can also be called desks, boards, or consoles. This mixer has six channels, four mono channels, and two stereo channels. At the top of each channel, there are inputs. The first four inputs include microphone preamps. You can connect microphones or line level devices to these inputs. The last two channels are stereo line inputs. You can't connect a microphone directly into this input, but you could connect a smartphone or a line level device. Watch this video to learn more about the difference between microphone level and line level. Even a small audio mixer could be used to route several audio sources to a variety of destinations, such as speakers, effects processors, stage monitors, or recording, really anything. This mixer also offers a three-band EQ for each channel. Larger consoles generally have more inputs and outputs, as well as more processing in each channel strip. This particular audio mixer has a built-in USB audio interface that allows you to route all of the channels into two outputs that can be recorded into your computer. It's important to note that most audio mixers don't have a USB interface at all. And those that do generally only support two channels into your computer and two channels out of your computer. Let's take a look at a few examples of situations where you might use one of these tools so that we can better understand when it's best to use an audio interface versus an audio mixer. If you just want to record audio into your computer and play it back, all you need is an audio interface. Once you record the sound, you can edit and mix the signals in your computer and play them back through speakers. If you're routing several microphones and audio sources to speakers for a live event, or you just want the ability to route several audio sources to different destinations, a mixer is the best choice for you. So tell me in the comments, are you using an interface or a mixer? If you got value out of this video, hit the like button and watch the next video coming up. For more content like this, subscribe to Audio University.